What's going on guys? It's Justin here with Summit Racing and we're here with Jay from FK Rod Ends. How's your show going, Jay? It's going well, it's going really well. Yeah, you know, PRI is a lot of fun. There's lots of race car parts. You can just see all sorts of nice, familiar, fun faces. Uh, it's a good time to get out of the house and, you know, do some race car stuff. Yes, it is. Now, you're going to run us through the FK Rod Ends kind of lineup and some of the different series you guys have. You guys have a, um, you know, a spherical bearing, a, a Heim joint, kind of a whole bunch of different stuff you guys offer. You have something for basically every application you could ever think of. Correct. Anything that you want to fabricate that requires motion, we have it covered. And that's super awesome. Now, let's start with your kind of economy series and work our way from there. So we have a, a two-piece series, our CM series, commonly used in uh, linkages, uh, small parts, sometimes steering on certain light vehicles. We have our CMX series, which we use on late model modifieds, um, will be used on other projects as well. It's alloy and alloy versus mild steel or low, low carbon steel. Um, so you get a little more strength out of the same unit, but it's two-piece, still inexpensive relatively. And then we come down to our uh, our JMX series, where we have a three-piece, and we do them in male and female. All of these are done in male and female for the most part. Um, and then we come to our uh, aluminum series, which is uh, popular in racing as well because of the weight reduction. Yeah, you know, if you're building race cars, you don't want excess weight. So if you can run an aluminum hide and joint, why not save the weight? That's right. And it becomes critical in some areas. Um, we have spherical bearings in, uh, in metric and in uh, SAE now. We do that in, in uh, both uh, extended um, balls so that you have some extra articulation. And we have our standard ball. Um, so that's a unique product. We also have uh, extra heavy duty shank for the size of the bore so if it's 7 16 here it'll be 3 8 here so one size it's smaller to give you extra load where the where the weakness is on a, on a on a threaded product yeah and some of these parts see some real abuse like people use these in some, some pretty crazy applications from you know monster trucks and desert vehicles you know really fast drag cars so yep. you want something that's really strong and not going to give up on you and you guys you know hit that out of the park with fk rod ends. correct yeah we start with all american steel which makes a big difference in getting making sure that your your grade of product is accurate and you're going to get the, the exact thing that you want at the end of the day so we start there but we build it all in-house in, in the u.s um you know which is a really big benefit to us because with the supply chain issues we've had today that solved a lot of our problems. We can kind of hit the gas where some others have to wait six weeks for a boat. Yeah, and us at Summit Racing, we love made in the USA products because we're an American company and we're all about that. Right, right, that's, that's what we are as well. So we come here to the, we have we have rod ends with uh, high misalignment as well. A little extra on the on the ball to give you a little extra angle. So these are these are a really nice product as well. Um, highly used in anything with, with lots of articulation. Um, and we do, some little linkage pieces with studs on them that are, that are really good for fuel injection and carburation. Um, you can get them without PTFE or with PTFE, it's unique. Now, do you want to touch on that subject a little bit, the you know regular steel, steel on steel joint to a PTF joint, kind of the different applications you'd use those in? Sure, most certainly. So where you want something really free or you have lots of uh, lubrication around it. So if you're in an oil bath, like a transmission inside or internal or somewhere where you have oil going on it, you can use metal to metal, or if you want to grease it, or if you have an encapsulated way of encapsulating the bearing, you can keep grease in there to keep the heat down and keep the wear down. Um, problem with grease is it attracts dirt and, and grime. So off-road, you don't generally want that a whole lot unless you're able to clean the car really quick. So you go to PTFE, which will make a, a ball like this, it rotates really smooth, as opposed to one that is really free. Man, look at the size of that joint. That thing is absolutely massive. Yeah. This is one of our new products that came out during the pandemic, uh, JMX24, which is an inch and a half rod end, um, usually used in uh, ultra-fork configurations, KOH type stuff. 
Yeah, that thing is a that's a that's a big joint. You know, I bet that thing takes some abuse. And a, if, if someone breaks one of those, I want to see what they were doing to do it. Yeah, I'd like to see it too, but I imagine they're going to find a way. Yeah, you know that's that's the thing is you know you can break anything if you use it wrong enough. Right, right. Well, that and the guys that build the cars will add horsepower and and uh, weight to the vehicle, and that'll just do it too. Yeah, you know anything anything can fail. That's that's a big thing. But uh, you know you guys have certainly brought a stellar product to the market, and I can't wait to see these on some applications. So one of the things that comes along with heim joints is misalignment spacers. Do you want to kind of roll through that and you know explain what those are for for the folks at home? Most certainly, yeah. Most most rod ends have somewhere between an eight and a fourteen degree angle on the ball that you can put in with a standard size bolt that would come with the bore. With a misalignment spacer, you will shrink the bore a little bit, allowing you to increase the articulation somewhere between forty and seventy degrees of extra articulation allowing for quite a bit more angle on your on your project. So if you have something, you know, if you're using these for steering and you have some high travel deal yeah. or, or, or that, or, you know, with suspension components and links, if the link needs to move more, you know, a, high, a misalignment spacer is gonna, is gonna solve your issues. Correct, yes. It's gonna give you the angle that you need to get the wheel travel that you need for off-road use. Um, it might solve your steering problem for uh, whatever you need for an extra little bit of angle. It allows you to go with a little, little larger joint with a little more strength on the ball, but also will give you the articulation that you need. And that's really spectacular that you guys, you know, you make everything. So I don't have to get these from somebody else. You know, it's they're right in the FK catalog and I can get them all at one spot. And that spot happens to be Summit Racing. Correct. So if you guys have any questions or are looking for FK rod ends, head over to summitracing.com or one of our four retail store locations. Or if you're not sure exactly what you need or have some questions about their lines, call into our customer service line and those folks will be able to get you taken care of. I really appreciate you taking the time, Jay, to show us through the FK line and uh, you know give us a little insight in the world of Heimjoids. Thank you very much and I appreciate the yep. time.